Hey you guys, my name is Caesar. If you guys clicked on this video, you wanna know how to set up an outdoor, either rack miner or bobcat miner. They're both gonna be the same thing. I have everything you need in this video. And of course, any links are gonna be in the description box, okay? So this is the final product, but I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step on how to set everything up. We have all the cores running over here. We have the ground wire, we have the regular wire. And I do want to add that we are at my buddy's house, so he has a prime location. Look at it overlooks the city. So we're hoping to get some good earnings from his miner. So of course, stay tuned for that. All right, we got all the, this is the main bracket that's gonna go against the wall right here. This is all the screws that it comes with right here. We just gotta mark it wherever we're gonna put it. So we got the holes right here. We'll mark it on the, against the roof and then uh, go ahead and get it done. Right, you guys, I'm on the top side of the roof and I just marked the four holes that this bracket's gonna go. So you can see them right here. Okay, so now I have to get the drill bit. We're gonna drill holes in here. Then we're gonna go ahead and screw it in and then, uh, and then place everything on top of that. I'm still on the top of the ladder here, but uh, what I'm going to do is we already just drilled those four holes, right? And you guys can see it says four circular holes, not the oval ones right here. And then we just have these four screws. All we're going to do is put them in like this. And then we have our ratchet right here, and we're just going to tighten them all the way down. This one's kind of simple, okay? So we got all four place it is nice and sturdy ready to go so what we're using is this is a 40 inch antenna mount and uh, this is going to do the trick we're going to throw this all the way on top of the roof i went with the 40 inches they have an extender that you could put on here and i believe you could get three more feet off of it but i'm cool with this one right here 40 inches you guys can see it does have the holes and grooves and everything right here Okay, so this is where the mount goes on this side, and then we're gonna attach the antenna over here on this side. This is the antenna. It is an 8 dBi antenna. I'm gonna have links to everything down in the description box in case you guys wanna buy the same exact ones that I have. I got most of the stuff off of Amazon. So this is good right here. Depending on uh, what, you're, what you're going for, an 8 dBi is gonna go more long ways than it is like an umbrella. If you're looking for like an umbrella, you're gonna go with like a 3 to 4 dBi. So this is, uh, we're, we're on the top of a mountain. So we're planning on getting uh, more distance than, than we are more of the umbrella. And then this is the lightning arrester. And we're also uh, going to be linking this down below. But this is going to be so we're going to be able to attach our grounding wire, which we also bought from Amazon right here. I'll show you guys how to use that in a second. But uh, we're going to actually be hooking that up right here. And then so that's where the, the grounding wire goes. And then so this is a female on top on this side. We have a male right here. So we're going to be connecting this to this. And then we have an LMR 400 cord. This is the female right here. And then this side right here is the male. So we're gonna be connecting these three together just like so. And then on the other side, we have the, we have the cord all the way down. That goes into the miner. Okay, so this connects directly into the miner. We're hooking up a bobcat today, but this also works for the rack miner. And this is a female. You can see like it has the screw in and everything, but that is a female. I promise you guys, it's a female. People get it confused. So make sure uh, you guys are buying the right stuff. But you guys can see this is a 23 foot cable, LMR 400 coax cable. So I picked this up at Home Depot right here. This is gonna be a one inch size, and then this is one and a half inches. So we do have the pole, which is one and a half inches right here. And then we're just gonna slide this on. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it goes in there. Okay, I'm gonna show you what the lightning arrestor is for in a second too. So as you guys can see, they're both on here right here. All we're gonna do is tighten these screws up and it's gonna get on here right here. So what I wanted to say is um, these antennas, uh, they usually come with a kit to actually place this on a pole. So make sure you guys get one that does. This one didn't, but uh, if you guys wanna save some money, you know, and you don't have to have a contraption like this, make sure you guys are getting the antenna that actually comes with it. Like I said, we have the eight DBI antenna and this is the male part right here. We are gonna be hooking it up to the female lightning arrestor and the lightning arrestor is just in case lightning hits the pole, but it's gonna be, there's gonna be a ground wire. So we're gonna make sure everything's nice and protected, okay? So like I said, we have the female and male. All we have to do 
is screw this part in if I could get it in there. Okay, and you want to make sure this is nice and tight because it's going to be on the roof and you're, you know, not going to have access to it. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. You're not going up there tightening it. Okay. So now I want to make sure everything's nice and ready and then we're going to hook everything up. So let's put it through here and make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so we're going to tighten these up. We have the ground wire here and it's 12 AWG, right? So it comes like this and all you have to do, if you want to cut it, you could get one of these fancy dancy tools that I have right here, okay? And then you kind of just move it around like so. And then this, the covering just comes off like that, okay? This is see, so you could just slide it right off. If you don't have this tool, it's okay. You could grab like a little knife and just cut it and then do it that way. But uh, let me show you where it's supposed to hook up to. So this is where it hooks up to on the lightning arrestor, okay? You guys wanna put it in clockwise so when you're turning, it's gonna get nice and tight and it's gonna stay on there. If you do it counterclockwise, it's just gonna slip right off of it. So you guys, this is my third one, uh, putting it up on the roof. And so the lightning arrestor, for whatever reason, these are kind of flimsy, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on top of here to make sure it's grounded and this doesn't come off of it. We went with plan B because that screw that's in there is just so loose on there and it's hard to put this copper wire. So we're just gonna go straight from here and then we're just gonna tighten this all the way up. And that's gonna be our plan B. I'm not an electrician, but I did do some research and as long as this copper wire is touching the arrestor like it is, and we're gonna have it nice and tight in there, um, it's good to go. This is the 400 LMR. This is the female right here. And we do have the male right here on the bottom side of the lightning arrestor. So we're just gonna hook these two up. Now we're gonna have to mount this and there's gonna be two screws. So one screw is gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you guys when it's up there on the roof and then the other screw is gonna go right in here, but this is gonna have it nice and tight so it's not moving around anywhere. All right, we have everything in place now. We have the, the bolt. And guess what? I lost a, I lost one of them. So we had to just improvise and we got another bolt here, but it's nice and secure. Both sides are on. We got the pole right here. Hopefully you guys can see it's a little sunny today. So we have the 8 DBI, the lightning arrestor, and then we have the LMR 400 cable right here. And everything's nice. It's tight. It's secure. All we have to do now is we're going to secure the wires and make it look nice against this, against the roof right here. I also threw some zip ties here to have everything nice and uh, I, I, you want the cord to be facing straight down because if this cord starts pulling one way or another, the antenna is going to be facing either left or right. So just make sure you have some zip ties or something to keep everything um, nice and tight right here lined up with the pole. As I did some housekeeping with these clips, of course, I'm going to link them down below. But as you guys could see, I just running them all the way along. You guys can see that's the miner right there. Now it's a little sunny. But you guys can see the miner we got the zip tie right there to have that cord go straight down and then we have these cords running all along i still have more to do but you know i gotta fill that spot up right there but this is what the clips look like right here all right you guys i know it's hard to see but you can see some clips up there i'm on the ground now i was on the ladder a second ago so we have the last clip right here we're just gonna run the cords both cords down and they actually go through a hole right here, which goes into the garage. So I'm gonna show you guys the setup on the inside. But first, we actually have to set up the ground wire, okay? So the ground wire is gonna go right here. I'm actually gonna put it, uh, use one of these side ones right here. And then, um, and then I'll show you guys what the setup looks like on the inside too. So I was able to cut this. This is a 50 foot, and it looks like we used maybe around 20 feet of this. So of course you guys measure what you guys need, that way you're not wasting anything. So what I did is I cut the cord, I went ahead and stripped the last piece of it, looks like about an inch and a half or so. I just wrapped it around because we do have a little slack and I didn't wanna just cut ourselves short. So what I did is I loosened this up a little bit and this is the circuit breaker, you guys. So we have, this is a up to code right here. Again, I'm not an electrician, but I did do my research and uh, having this here is up to code because the ground there's a grounding rod that's connected to the circuit breaker so this is uh 
Once again, 100% legit right here. I'm gonna show you guys a setup that I did at another house. And what it is, it's a clamp that goes onto a copper piping. And then that copper piping, all you do is screw it in nice and tight. And this is what the setup looks like here. As long as you guys are able to get to a copper pipe, sometimes there's a garage that has a open uh, pipe wire. So you guys could go ahead and do that. That's the secondary way of doing it. And again, this is what it looks like. The cord's coming down. This is what the circuit breaker looks like right here. And then we have our cord right here that's hooked up directly to the antenna going into this hole right here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the other side. Okay, you guys, I'm inside the house now. This is, I'm inside the garage. So that was the hole that was outside, okay? So now we do have the cord coming out and we only have about two feet that we're working with, which is not a big deal because I went ahead and I installed the mount for the Bobcat Miner. And I uh, just want to reiterate, we do have a Bobcat Miner, but the other two that I did, it was for a rack miner. They're both the same cords and all that good stuff. So, you know, keep that in mind. Okay, so we, plug, we went, went ahead and plugged in the miner you guys can see right here we just attached a, a cord because there's no there's no sockets over here in the garage so we had to run this cord which is not a big deal i suggest that you guys get a surge protector that way uh you keeping everything nice and secure okay you guys so we have the bobcat miner right here we went ahead and plugged it in now all we have to do is plug in the other side of the cord that is attached to the actual antenna right here Okay, this is the cord coming from outside. This is the female and this is the male end right here. So all we have to do is, I'm gonna try to show you guys and screw it in at the same time. It's kind of tough here. Okay, it was kind of hard to show you guys, but I did screw it all the way in. And then these clips go right on here. Let me show you guys. It goes upside down, clips go on here and it's nice and secure like i said look at we're dealing with a little bit of extra cord that we have going on so green means go we're all set up here connected to the wi-fi and everything so my buddy is good to go if you guys want updates on how much his miner is making every month just let me know in the comment box below of course if you guys have any questions let me know i'm going to answer them the best i can i just want to stress out that i'm not a professional i just i'm a handyman that knows how to do a little bit and then this is my uh, setup right here. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys on the next video.